The lion is one of the world's most iconic animals. It is a symbol of power and majesty in many cultures. It features strongly in all major religions. Nyama mashuri simba. Tunasoma katika Quran. Walinda simba. It is a symbol of the African continent and represents African pride. But the king of beasts is under siege. Lion numbers have fallen globally from 200,000 a century ago to around 20,000 today. The lion's range has shrunk dramatically as human populations have grown and agriculture has taken over much of their former lands. They have been killed to protect cattle. Their prey base has been hunted and they are even caught in snares set to illegally trap bushmeat. But Tanzania is one of the last strongholds for lions, with by far the largest lion population in the world, estimated at 8,000 animals. This incredible conservation achievement is thanks to the concerted efforts of the government and the many Tanzanians who are working to ensure that our country, our people and our lions can prosper together for the future. Lions are the star attraction for the wildlife tourism business, which accounts for around 17% of Tanzania's GDP and provides about 1.5 million jobs. It has been estimated that one lion living for 10 years generates about 8 billion shillings in tourism revenue. Alfred Sakita has been working as a safari guide for 21 years. Within the pride, the older lioness, as you can see that third lioness from the right tends to be the older lioness of the pride. And actually she is the expert of uh, organizing the hunt. Wageni wengi wanapokuja kutembelea nchi yetu kwa ajili ya kufanya utalii wanapendelea ku Mona Simba, kukua Simba ni mnyama moja odari, ni mnyama ambaye kijulikana kama ni mfalme wa wambuga au mfalme wa pori, hameongeza ajira. Na ajira hii imenuezesha mimi kupata uh, pesa uh, in terms of salary, uh, ambapo imenisaidia mimi kuweza kulipa bili za maji, nikiwa naishi mjini, bili za umeme, kualipia watoto wangu ada, Kwa hiyo ni menisaidia kwa kiasi kikubwa sana. E, mimi kama mungu za utalii, kitokia kumba Simba ame face extinctions. Taumia sana kukua Simba ndiyo anayefanya nyo kanya ajira. Kuna faida mbali mbali ambazo zinatokana na utalii. Mfano, jamii zinapata fursa ya kuuza vitu mbali mbali ikiwepo ni pamoja na vitu vya kidesturi vya kimila kama jiweli. Lakini kwa eneo la ngorongoro tunazo boma za kitamaduni ambazo watalii wanapofika wanapata kuonyeshwa nyimbo, utamaduni na hatimaye kuweza kuuziwa vitu hivyo ndani ya yale maboma. Kwa hiyo kwa namna hiyo jamii pia zinapata fursa ya kufaidika moja kwa moja kwa kupata fedha ambazo zinatokana na mauzo ama vile vile maonyesho ya mila na desturi zao. Anyone and I asked Rambo Narobi and Yellow Hill Dali. Where am I a year in young Yangara Val? Shule Ninyang Aginyang and Ashule Nigue Yankaduru and maybe a second that in me. I don't know you, I had a yogle in Pile Nandi. My Negro, Dolneg, the Hugo, I don't know you, and no pea. Bye, Lebing and Marvog. While tourists from around the world come to see our lions and local communities benefit economically, it is still not easy living closely with lions. William Oleseki founded Coplion, near Ngorongoro Conservation Area, to help with that. 
falsafa yetu kubwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba binadamu anachagua kuwavumilia na kuishi na simba kama sehemu ya maisha ya maridhiano kwenye mazingira zaidi ya kwamba ni muhusika kwa upande wa utaalamu wa utafiti na uhifadhi lakini ni muhimizaji wa jamii na wadau wengine kuhusu umuhimu wa kuwatunza na kuwahifadhi hawa wanyama na ni wanyama wote kwa ujumla lakini haswa kwa sababu kuna simba ambaye ni mtishiwa tunahakikisha ya kwamba ana nafasi ya kuishi na kustawi pamoja nasi Mila na desturi zetu kama Wamasai ni jukumu la agano la baina yetu na Mungu kwamba sote tumeumbwa na Mungu sote tuna nafasi ya kuishi na kutumia mazingira Kwa hiyo sisi hatujioni kuwa ni watawala wa viumbe wengine isipokuwa sisi ni sehemu ya maisha katika mazingira Wildlife is an important part of Maasai culture. Wetu hata wanyamapori tumewapa koo zetu kwamba kila mnyamapori anayo nafasi ya kuwa mwanako. Simba ni mwana ukoo wa ukoo wa Laiser ama wanaitwa Laiza. Na hawa ambao ni wanakoo wa mnyama huyo wanapaswa kumlinda, kumhifadhi dhidi ya kuharibiwa ama kuuawa na watu wa ukoo mwingine. While the lion is respected in Maasai culture, traditions have had to change. Mila na desturi ya Kimasai yoyote anayekabiliana na mnyama simba na kuweza kumuua huyu ni shujaa. Young barbaric men would traditionally gain rewards, status and pride from killing a lion. But now, instead, they continue traditional rituals and celebrations without harming the lions but defending them. Zamani tulikuwa tunawinda simba kwa sababu tunaona kwamba ni adui zetu lakini sasa tumepata mafundisho kutoka kwa Ruaka ni project na sasa ndio tunawapenda hao wanyama. Lazaro Oletekero works with William as a lion guardian. Mana Chokut ni mchungaji anasimama katikati ya mifugo wa nyumbani na simba kuamua migogoro asitokee. Samani tulikuwa tunaua simba na tunakuwa tunaona simba kabisa ni adui maana anakula mifugo na anakula watu lakini kuja kugundua kupata elimu kutoka kwa watu wengine tumekuja kugundua umuhimu wa simba na sasa hivi tunatunga kama mifugo tu nyumbani tunapata faida ya kutoka simba pesa kutoka kuingia kijijini ndio maana sasa hivi tunatetea simba hatuui tena Maasai herdsmen have changed their attitudes towards lions Hao ilikuja wanatusaidia sana. Wao wenyewe wanapata katika hizi vyombo ambazo ni makini sana na kujua simba yuko wapi. Na wakisha tuelezwa kwamba yuko wapi sisi tunaepusha mifugo yetu. Kwa hiyo migogoro yetu imepungua. Hmm. Na hao ambao sasa hivi ndio walikuwa ni adui kwa mifugo yetu. Sasa hivi sisi tunafurahia sana kupata namna nzuri sababu lishakuwa ni koo yetu. Kwa hiyo tuna namna nzuri ya urafiki communities are realizing that they have an important global role to play. Tunafahamu kwamba hawa simba ni mmoja wa wanyama ambao ni ni muhimu sana duniani sio sio hapa tu kwetu. Kwa hiyo tukiwa mmoja wa ya jamii ambayo wanaweza kuhifadhi hawa wanyama e, pia e, inatupa nguvu na pia ina, ina, inatupa hamu fulani ya kuweza e, kuwa moja wa watu ambao wanahifadhi wanyama hao Protecting lions also means protecting their habitat the forests rivers and grasslands on which they depend which also helps protect people This doesn't only bring economic benefits but also environmental benefits The community has access to fresh water for human activities and for livestock 
all because of water sources that are part of the Great Ruaha River's drainage system. Ah, uh, mto Ruwa tuna tunafaidia kwa sababu kama unavyoona nalima mboga mboga, nalima nyanya. Kwa hiyo kulima nyanya huko maana yake unanisaidia mto Ruwa kwa sababu wananufaika watu wa vijijini lakini pia wananufaika na watu wa mjini. Kwa hiyo ni muhimu sana kuhifadhi mto Ruwa. Mto Ruwa sana sana ni vyanzo vidogo vidogo ambavyo vinatumkiza maji kama tunavyonufaika sisi kama wakulima. Lakini upo mto Ruwa na hivi ni vyanzo vidogo vidogo. Ni muhimu sana kama wakulima, wa, wa wafugaji kuhifadhi mto wa Ruaha huu ili uweze kutunufaisha sana sana ni kutunza vyanzo vya maji. Tusipolima kwenye mto vyanzo vya vya, vya mto Ruaha maana yake maji yatakuwa ni mengi na wote wa asili wa mto Ruaha utakuepo. Tukilima kwenye vyanzo vya maji, tukikata miti kwenye vyanzo vya maji maana yake mto Ruaha utakauka. Lakini tukihifadhi mazingira kwenye mto Ruaha maana yake maji yatakuepo kwa muda wote. Ndio hivyo kama wakulima watanufaika, wafugaji watanufaika kupitia mto Ruaha. Moja ya mambo muhimu ni uhifadhi wa misitu. Kwa sababu misitu kwetu sio tu mapori lakini vile vile ni hospitali. Tunazo eh, dawa za asili ambazo tunapata kutoka mazingira. Na kwamba sasa hivi sio tu sisi wenyewe ni watumiaji wa madawa hayo lakini tunaona kwamba hata huko mijini watu wameanza kabisa kutegemea madawa ya asili kila mahali unatembea mijini na unaona watu wakiuza na kununua madawa hayo hii dawa kujikata mwenyewe na sime na kitu chochote kali wewe nakwenda kukata hivi Haya, na polisi ya ile sehemu. Kwa hiyo hii dawa ulikuwa nakata hiyo damu ambayo inatilika na inakausha. Anasuia wale wadudu wa bakteria ya ambayo naweza kuharibu damu na hiyo sehemu ambayo imejikata. Mimi naona hii madawa yetu ni mazuri kwa sababu hauna sumu na aileti mambo ya kisukari wala nini unataka ku, kufundisha watoto yetu wadogo kutunza hii masingira kama kama ile mababu zetu na mababa zetu wa samani mpaka watu wengine wa nyuma anakuja kukukuta kabla hajaribika kwa sababu unatakiwa watu na kama watu wana chimba unadushia udongo ile sehemu kidogo ambayo imetoa hiyo dawa asikauke wala asipoteze hiyo mbegu Msisitizo wa utunzaji wa mazingira ni jambo ambalo linapaswa kuwa juu ya agenda ya kila mwanadamu. Pasipo mazingira mazuri tunaangamia. Bernard Kisui works with the Maasai Steppe Carnival Conservation Trust, researching carnivals and in particular lions. Ukirudi nyuma miaka 20 30 40 huko nyuma kwamba walikuepo e, hawa wanyama wengi shughuli za kilimo shughuli za makazi na shughuli zingine mbalimbali za kimaendeleo ambazo zimechangia upotevu wa haya maeneo ambayo e, simba walikuwa wanayategemea Hiyo maana yake ni kwamba vile vile Tanzania ina wajibu sasa mkubwa wa kuhakikisha kwamba hawa simba ambao bado wanapatikana Tanzania wataendelea kuwepo kwa ajili ya vizazi vijavyo. Neria Abdi lives in Makifu village bordering Ruaha National Park. She works for Lion Landscapes, formerly known as Ruaha Carnival Project. Jamii yangu ni jamii ya kimasai. Na kipindi na kuwa wanawake wa jamii yangu walikuwa na majukumu ya kufanya kazi za nyumbani. 
kama kuchunga mifugo kama ngombe mbuzi na kadhalika kazi za wanawake kwenye jamii yangu kama sisi wa Masai kujenga nyumba pia wanaenda kuchunga wanamke lazima kachunge kirudi unaenda unapika kukamua na kadhalika sikuona umuhimu wa nyama pori hasa mnyama kama simba nilikuwa namuogopa mtazamo wangu juu ya nyama pori ulibadilika tunapata misaada mingi sana kutokana na mashirika ambao wanahusika na wanyama pori kama vile elimu dawa za mifugo vifaa hospitalini mimi kama afisa migogoro natatua migogoro baina binadamu na wanyama wanaokula nyama yani kwa sababu kila mwisho wa mwezi naenda kukusanya data za mifugo walizouliwa na fisi simba kuna matukio yanatokea lazima nifike kwa sababu ni kazi yangu hiyo kazi yangu ya tatu ni kuwashauri watu kujenga boma za waya hizo ndo imara kwa ajili ya mifugo zao zisiweze kuvamiwa na wanyama pori Sasa tunaelekea hapi na tunaenda kufanya nini? Sasa hivi tunaelekea kukagua kamera mm -hmm. tulizotega kwa ajili ya kuwaona wanyama wanaepita mazingira haya. Sawa. Eh sasa kama na simba mm -hmm. wanaleta mashindano. Kwa kijiji ambacho kimewakamata wanyama wengi wanatoa yani huduma kama afya, elimu na mifugo. Lengo la kutega hizi kamera mm -hmm. ni kujaribu kuwaweka jamii yani waishi vizuri na wanyama badala ya kuwaua wa watunzi wakati akimuona mnyama hawezi kumpiga mshale au kutega waya anaona kama mnyama kuishi naye mnyama anaweza kuanufaika na kitu hiki kupitia programu yetu ya utegaji wa kamera vijijini au tunaita CCT program uh, tunatega kamera katika maeneo ya vijiji Uh, kamera hizi zina lengo la kuweza kuona kwamba kuna wanyama ambao wana, wana, wanafika katika maeneo ya kijiji na mwisho wa siku tunachofanya ni kwamba tunahamasisha jamii uh, kuweza kuwa na maeneo ya mapori ambayo mwisho wa siku yanawasaidia hao wanyama pori waweze kuishi Funds from conservation support basic health care and education Kutokana na uwepo wa wanyama pori shirika limeweza kutusaidia kupata wanachama wengi wa CHF nasi kama kituo tumeweza kutoa huduma kwa wakati na kuweza kuwa na vifatiba vya kutosha pamoja na dawa na mteja anapofika kwenye kituo chetu tunakagua kadi yake kama bado haija expire then anapata huduma kuna carnival project imekuwa ikishirikiana na wananchi katika kuhakikisha watoto wanapata huduma bora kupitia ufadhili wa masomo utoaji huduma mbalimbali mashuleni kupitia chakula watoto wanapata mazuri mazuri kwani hawawezi kushinda shuleni kwa sababu wanajua akienda shuleni anaenda kupata chakula kupitia madawati pia tulikuwa na uwabu watoto walikuwa wanakaa zaidi ya watatu hadi wanne kwa hiyo hizo watoto wanakaa wawili wawili kwenye madawati kama mkuu wa kitengo cha sayansi ya uhifadhi na msiona jamii tunafanya shughuli za kufuatilia wanyama kwa maana kuhesabu kujua idadi ya wanyama kujua tabia zao kujua mazingira ya wanaoishi ukizunguka katika maeneo yetu ya hifadhi yetu 22 kuna miradi mingi imefanywa kwa, kwa zaidi ya miaka 30 iliyopita miradi ya shule madarasa nyumba za walimu miradi ya maji barabara uhifadhi una manufaa na manufaa kutokana na utalii 
na fedha zinapatikana basi zisaidia katika shughuli za jamii katika vijiji vinazozunguka kwa hiyo katika nchi unazungumzia sekta ambayo ni muhimu sana kazi ya uhifadhi haiwezi kufanya tu na askari peke yao inahitaji ushirikiano wa jamii kubwa kwa maana tunaamini jeshi kubwa la kulinda rasmali ya mapori ni wananchi wanaoshirikiana na hifadhi As the world faces the challenge of climate change, new opportunities to directly benefit from wildlife habitats are emerging. Companies are seeking to become carbon neutral by paying to balance out their activities by preserving forests and other habitats. Carbon Tanzania sells carbon credit from protected forests and shares the income with local communities around Makame. Project ya Makame tunashirikiana nao kwa sababu wenyewe wana msitu. Kwa sababu misitu inakuwa inachukua ile carbon na kutoa oxygen. Tunaingia mkataba hapo sisi pamoja na wao kuhakikisha wanalinda ile misitu na miti ikatu. Tunahakikisha sasa sisi tunapeleka wataalamu, wanapima, wanaangalia ni namna gani tunaweza tukapata hizo uh, offset ambazo tunaweza tukazipeleka sokoni. Mwisho wa siku tunapima tunajua hizo carbon credits ziko kiasi gani tukishazipata then tunazipeleka sokoni tunaziuza na baada ya kuziuza then tunaweza kugawana sisi pamoja na wao mapato yanakuwa yamepatikana kuhakikisha sisi tunakaa uendeshaji na wenyewe wanaweza kuendelea kulinda misitu lakini pia jamii inapata uh, maendeleo kulingana na ulindaji wa misitu yes inatuwezesha sisi kupata mapato ambao mapato hayo tuna tunagawana na vijiji wanachama kwa ajili ya kuliendeleza lile eneo mfano mashuleni, zaanati na miradi mingine ya maendeleo kama josho lakini pia inawasaidia kaya maskini kupata bima za afya ambayo inawezesha wao kulinda afya zao inasaidia kulinda eneo hili la makame tunahitaji ushirikiano wa karibu kabisa kati ya wadau mbalimbali mbali. wadau ni jamii wadau ni serikali wadau ni wawekezaji wadau ni mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali ambayo kwa kushirikiana pamoja tunaweza kuhakikisha ya kwamba uhifadhi unakuwa na ufanisi sote ama tunaishi ndani ya hifadhi ama tunaishi mijini tunategemea fedha zinazotokana na uhifadhi Uhifadhi ni sehemu ya mila na tamaduni za Watanzania na sehemu nyingine za Afrika. Watu wengi wa asili wana tamaduni ambazo zinaenda moja kwa moja na uhifadhi. Kupoteza wanyamapori, kupoteza mazingira itakuwa ni kupoteza utamaduni huo na kupoteza uasili wa watu hao. Hivyo ni muhimu wote kuungana na kutunza urithi wetu huu wa asili. Uhifadhi hatimaye ni chaguo la binadamu. Wanyama kuwepo wao wasiwepo ni chaguo la binadamu. Tanzanians are coming together to protect our incredible wildlife heritage and to ensure that lions and the people who live with them can both prosper for the future. As many parts of the world developed economically, they destroyed their wildlife heritage, which now they want to restore. Can Tanzania show the world a better way? Can we conserve our cultural heritage in a way where people and wild animals can thrive together? and where Tanzanians can be the world's greatest lion guardians and Tanzania can continue to be the land of the lion.